city manager's report. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Vice Mayor, members Sorry. of the council, general public, thank you for your attendance this evening. Uh, just a quick report on a few things. Uh, we have taken a couple calls regarding our uh, construction project with Columbia Gas in the community. Again, as I did uh, last week, uh, our apologies to the disruption that our citizens are facing. We are answering all calls uh, at a couple calls today in the Farallon area, we immediately followed up with Columbia Gas, uh, which they immediately followed up with their contractors. The project in Farallon, we're probably looking at about a solid two more weeks, uh, will be wrapped up there. On Edgemont, we should be wrapped up there, weather permitting this weekend, and I will let you know that on Saturday the 17th, as they've cleaned out the lines, there will be a large flame 20 to 30 feet in the air. Nice. Uh, so we just nice. ask our public that no need to call 911. We're, we're on top of it. Do we know what time that's going to be? I'm not exactly sure. He's supposed to call let me know. Oh, I was going to walk up there. He wants to invite me over to watch this. Yeah, call me. We're going to make a marshmallow. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, again, <laughs> apologies to our citizens in our neighborhood. We're working as diligently as we can with the utility company to uh, help them perform their upgrades. And we, we're certainly aware of some things that's going on with our roadway system. And uh, we will be Johnny on the spot after the fact. So again, uh, met with the Regional Commission and the Chamber of Commerce uh, <coughs> the week, and we discussed the outdoor survey plan for the Allegheny Highlands. So we encourage you folks to get online and offer up your comments. Uh, recreation tourism is really important to our community, and uh, we're uh, you needing your responses back as we plan for the future on outdoor recreation and. Uh, parks, facilities, trails, and all those good things. So we, we appreciate your input on that. <laughs> City staff, we were up on Allegheny 220 this, uh, yesterday. Uh, we did the, uh, where the plate has been laying the Columbia gas, kindly left for us. We had a storm drain that was totally uh, rotten underneath the road, and we uh, were able to go up and City Workforce replaced that over the last two days. Uh, we cold patch the cut across the road. I have been promised that we will stay on top of it so we don't have a big ditch along the way. So, uh, and speaking of cold patching, uh, we have been busy over the last couple of days uh, running around our community with the number of potholes that we have. So, uh, we're addressing them. And uh, to our citizens, we are aware uh, of situations. We do appreciate your call in to let us know, but we are. Uh, scurrying around, working on, on these spots around town. We conducted our youth league basketball and volleyball drafts this week. I'm proud to say that we have right now 78 young fellows playing our youth basketball, 57 of our young ladies playing uh, youth volleyball. So uh, Thomas and Lisa have put our programs together. We're often uh, at it with uh, practices and our games begin. <laughs> First of uh, January. So, if you're looking for a little bit of entertainment, <coughs> feel free to come to some of these youth league games and enjoy the parents yelling and screaming. Uh, unfortunately, we uh, have had an incident with a refuge truck uh, again. As I mentioned a week ago, our mechanic uh, is on vacation and uh, he's not having a very good vacation because he's been on the job ever since he took vacation. So. Uh, kudos to our employee and thanks for servicing our vehicles and our refuge truck uh, hopefully will be up and running tomorrow. Our staff continues to do a very nice job of responding to our citizens' calls and concerns. Hammond and Mitchell will begin working on the Rayon Bridge. They uh, will quit today, so whether over the next couple days, hopefully within a week, we will have the uh, area up underneath the bridge blocked up uh, per the report of our engineering firm so we'll be uh, in good shape there and we will continue to work <coughs> on the surface and take care of some of those uh, 
nasty holes that's on the bridge's surface. Hawthorne Street Bridge had its annual inspection today, so we'll look forward to getting that report back. Um, received notice the other day that we have received uh, a grant from the Allegheny Foundation to move forward with phase two of the design at the Casey Field Moody Albert Stadium as we prepare for our consolidated schools uh, athletic programs next fall. And finally, uh, over the last two days, BB and I have met uh, with about three-fourths of the employees of the city individually. Uh, I take a lot of pride in that, uh, to be able to meet all of our people, uh, let them understand that uh, city manager's office is, is a good place to be, and uh, we have worked really hard to get where we're at, and I'm just proud to tell our city council that uh, we got a good group of people and uh, I'm, I'm proud of the response to what Bibi and I have <coughs> chat with them about and just just thoroughly impressed with a lot of our new hires and the respect that we get uh, from them and just uh, if, if it's okay a little proud moment from upper management so again uh, we're moving forward with that and uh, after we get tomorrow behind us, we'll be getting into some other businesses within the department. With that being said, thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, this will be it until Santa Claus comes, so Merry Christmas to each and every one. Uh, please take a moment and go down our main street. Uh, it's just a pretty place to be. And, uh, so anyway, with that, Merry Christmas, Happy and Healthy New Year. We look forward to 2023 and same to you folks. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Thank you Alan.